I'm Jamie Lee with BirdTricks.com and I'm a professional parrot trainer who loves what I do. My goal with these videos is to answer any and all questions parrot owners have about their beloved feathered kids. Ask away and I'll try to keep up. See a bird in my videos you want to see more of? Let me know and I'll feature that flock member even more. Wait, let me get my shirt out of the background. Whoa, Fluffy! Whoa, Fluffy! Hey, Whoa, Fluffy. Hey, cutie. 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 <laughs> All right, Wani. Okay, quit being a freak. Quit being a freak. Whoa. Oh, it's because I didn't end it with this. Whoa, poofy. <laughs> How poofy are you? I just need to raise that up a little. Really? Yeah. Better? Well, it is. Thanks. All right, ready? Ready to answer some questions? All right, so a recent question I got was, it's distracting my cartoon right now. Do you mind? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> um, stay here. Don't go to Dave. All the birds are magnet magnetic to Dave today. Maybe it's because I can't talk ever. Okay. Uh, one of the questions we got was, have we ever trained a bird for free flight using a harness? And I have Bondi here because we actually trained her for free flight using a harness. Um, we wanted to try all the different methods. We also trained our military macaw crash with a harness as well. Um, we didn't use the harness for as long with him because he really didn't do that well on a harness. And what we found is the harness makes the bird super uncomfortable in flight. Um, and it's almost kind of like a handicap, but it's also, I mean, it, it's mainly used so that you feel better as a person um, bringing your bird outside because you're confident that it's going back and forth and it has a tether on it. Um, the dangers of using a harness is that we all make mistakes and we can accidentally let go of it and the bird can fly off with the leash part connected and end up dangling in a tree upside down um, and it can't do anything about it. So, whoa, you just lost a giant feather. Did you guys see that? I'm going to pick it up. I know, I'm super distracted, but look at that thing. Look at that thing. Are you trying to demonstrate something? <laughs> she doesn't want it. Um, anyways, so it, I mean, you can use that way. I know of a few other people that have trained their birds with harnesses. Um, and it worked for us with Bondi because emotionally we were really, really scared to take her outside. Um, with our other birds, we got them knowing that we were going to free flight train them. And just when you're in a different place mentally, it makes it a little bit easier. But with Bondi, we had never, we didn't even know it existed when we had her. And luckily, we did everything right indoors anyway, unknowingly. Um, so she knew all the skills inside. It was just a matter of trusting her and taking her outside. But literally, we have video of the first time that we took her outside without a harness on for free flight. And she was so excited because you could literally see on her face, like, she knew that we were trusting her to come back and all the energy just was like a big ball of energy flying in the air and it was super cute. Um, so we have used it, used it. I'm going to post some pictures of actually Bondi in the harness and us taking her different places. We took her a lot of places on a harness um, along with our military macaw crash and we did a lot of flights that way. Um, I even have some on YouTube. I believe they're on the Dave Womack channel. I know we have kind of a lot of channels, but our Dave Womack channel is a little bit more like for personal videos and they're not always bird related, um, but a few went over there just to test some things out and stuff. So you can find them over there um, and just kind of take a look. So it is a method you can use for free flight training. It's just a little bit harder. You know, if your leash isn't very long, then the bird might be like held back by it. Um, I've heard of birds basically taking off so hard and the leash getting snagged that they'll like literally puke up their food which is obviously not a good thing so it can be dangerous to train your bird with a harness but it can also be possible so yeah that's about all the insight i have we basically ended up not using a harness for any future birds when we were training free flight we just liked it better without um and to be honest we do not trust ourselves to hold the leash 
um, 100 percent of the time and always have a firm grip to where it could never come out of your hands or you could never let go or you could never drop it just that doesn't really happen with people we make mistakes way too often to be able to rely on that so that's kind of our take with the harnesses um, so we don't use them but we have in the past we at least wanted to try the method out so that's that and I will share some photos with you to prove what I'm saying is true <laughs> they're gonna see some pictures of you it's really cute she's so fluffy today so cute